Okay, this is Paul Inventor 3, continuing from our last video. Uh, I said this will be part 2, but actually I think this is part 4 on this topic. Uh, okay, let me show you. Here's a magnet, a square magnet. Actually, I busted off the corner there. Uh, you should see the other magnet that it collided into. Uh, but still, this will still show the same effects. I've tried this experiment uh, before I busted the corner, corner off, and it's the same thing. So here's some uh, large copper plates. They're about three foot long, quarter inch thick. There's actually two of them laying side by side. There's aluminum plate down there. But let me show you this. Uh, square magnet. Okay, we're going to put it south or south facing out. See how it rolls down. As north rolls down. Very interesting effect. You could really feel it if you try to pull the magnet. You could see how the magnet wants to spin in my hand here. It's like there's this uh, resistance. Anyhow, let me go on. Let's put the magnet this way. Tumbles. Okay. Now let's put the magnet this way. And it slides. So I just had to show you that effect. If you line up the poles, the fields in that particular way, just very interesting. Okay, one more thing I want to show you here is, let me get one of these very special magnets here. Okay, and uh, let's grab the big daddy round magnet here. I can get it off. There we go. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay, we kind of stuck that one to the chair by accident. Okay, here's this magnet. I want to show you this magnet in magnetic viewing paper because it's divided into many sections. Uh, let's, let's put this right over here so we can see this a little better here. You can see the poles north south north south north south going around there okay that's how that magnet is lined up okay there's many poles going around there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys something that I was debating on showing you guys but uh, I'm gonna take this big magnet and this is very hard to show you without setting the camera down again so let me uh, set this camera down here. Hang on one second. There we go. Let's see if we could see this. Here's our magnet. Okay. And here's our ball, ball magnet. Okay, I'm gonna stick that on there. And I'm gonna move it around the diameter. Okay. North side of the big sphere facing the magnet. Okay. Now, let's set that big magnet down. Now, I'm going to show you with this viewing paper. There's no longer any divisions. Now it only has two poles. show you again here here's another here's one that's here's one that we just touched and set that down here's a fresh one okay you can see all the poles in there okay there's the one that we just did so showing everybody that there's definitely a way 
to manipulate magnetic fields and steer them and direct them. Now again, I'm going to mention that this may just be one of my final videos on this topic because I believe I've given enough information here to, well, let's just say do a lot of interesting things right now. Uh, I already have a couple of major ideas in mind already that I don't understand why they're not doing this already. Uh, anyhow, so till next time or next project or maybe I'll have another video on this yet, I'm not sure. But till next time, signing off, Paul Inventor 3.